गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन द लास्ट लेक्चर वॉज ऑन कास्टिज्म इन दट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग डेफिनेशन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसिस ऑफ कास्टिज्म इन इंडिया इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू दैट लेक्चर नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सोल्यूशन टू कास्टिज्म सोशियोलॉजिस्ट व्यूज and law and casteism in india so this lecture is very important uh, to understand the various solutions to casteism in india so number 1 uh, uh, we have to understand the literacy ratio of india we have to we have to understand the education system of india so there is a need to strengthen the education system of india education helps us to understand more about the social discrimination so education helps us in social mobility education helps in the generation of employment so education should be promoted there should be more literacy when it comes to education there should be no gender gender bias so first solutions to casteism is to promote education number 2 can be social legislations so there is a need to work more on social legislations in contemporary indian society you can find dowry still exist in india female infanticide still exist in india so there is a need to make very strict laws when it comes to casteism and the implementation of that uh, uh, these these uh, legislations should be on the ground so the government should focus more on the implementation part how these legislations are being implemented so there is a need to work more on social legislations <clears throat> number 3 can be <clears throat> we should not use caste in public domain of course if you look at dalit as a word when it comes to stool caste and stool tribe preventions and atrocity act so uh, there uh, they have clearly mentioned that you can't use dalit as a word in the public domain so but in practice you can find still the word dalit are are, are caste is being used so so this is all about misuse of that of the of these misuse of law so uh, when it comes to uh, caste or uh, or uh, social legislations so we have to remember that we should use more secular terms then then the terms related to caste so number 3 is less use of the term caste in public sphere or we should not use the term caste or a different terms for different caste groups so there should be number 4 point is promotion of economic equality 
so when it comes to economic equality economic institutions plays a major role in our society economic institution influences our all other institutions when there is economic equality or there if, if there will be economic equality then the people who are at the lower rung of the society they will get an opportunity to strengthen their livelihood so uh, there should be promotion of economic equality number 4 number 5 is equal opportunities so it's there in the indian constitution also we should give equal opportunities to all the sections of society therefore we have reservation for scst we have reservation for obcs and still the governments of different states or the government of india they are working on uh the creation of <clears throat> equal opportunities we have ministry of social justice and empowerment who is looking after the issues of scst no obcs so equal opportunities means we have to take care of all the sections of society equal opportunity should be promoted and equal op opportunity is the core principle of indian constitution equal op equal opportunity means we are promoting democracy we are promoting secular india so number 6 can be removal of socio cultural inequalities so when it comes to uh, socio cultural inequalities uh, we should uh, we should remove these all socio cultural inequalities when it comes to caste discrimination when it comes to marriages between the two caste groups so there should be a promotion of inter caste marriages also so we should we should work on more on on, on social isolation so, so therefore number 2 uh, point and number 6 points are very much interrelated so here we need more laws more social isolations uh, for the removal of socio cultural inequality number 7 can be a uh, proper knowledge about caste so each caste group or or the or the young generation they should be aware about the consequences of casteism or caste groups they should be aware about this inhuman practice they should be aware about how caste is a social category then a hereditary so so that should be promoted so number uh, uh now move to the next slide it's on sociologist view so we have many sociologist and these sociologists they have discussed about casteism in india number one we have gs ghure according to gs ghure the conflict originating in casteism can be removed by encouraging inter caste marriages co education should be introduced at the primary level and boys and girls should be given the opportunity to come together this will lead to improvement of behavior between uh, sexes simultaneously with which casteism will be actually refuted so uh, when it comes to gs ghure and gs ghure he is a very uh, interesting scholar gs ghure means govind sadashiv ghure uh he is a Uh, indian sociologist indologist he has been often considered as the father of indian sociology gure had been engaged in 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 building up almost single handedly the entire first generation of indian sociologist in post independence period so in his book uh, caste and race in india 1932 where he has combined historical anthropological and sociological perspectives to understand caste and kinship system in india 
and he tried to analyze uh, caste system through textual evidences using ancient texts on the one hand and also from both structural and cultural perspectives on the other hand. Uh, of course, Ghure studied caste system from a historical comparative and integrative perspective. Later on, he did a um, comparative study of uh, kinship. And uh, <clears throat> Ghure highlights six structural features of caste system uh, in Indian society. Number one is segmental division. Number, because if you look at caste uh, 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 groups, they are divided into segments, different segments. Brahman, Kshatriya, Jatis, Sadyatis. Uh, so, so just try to understand that also. So according to uh, uh, the government of India order 1950, there were 1108 scheduled caste communities in India. So number two, is talk he is talking about hierarchy. Hierarchy between two caste groups. Pollution and purity is also talking about between two caste groups. Civil and religious disabilities and privileges of different sections. So if you look at lower caste uh, uh, communities, they were not uh, entitled to uh, go to the temples for prayers. So uh, there, there, there were certain religious and, 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 and social uh, restrictions. Lack of choice of occupation was also was also like one of the characteristics he has discussed. Restriction on marriage means uh, there was no uh, intercaste marriages. So uh, now move to the next slide. Iravati Karve. Iravati Karve is also a, a sociologist, and uh, Iravati uh, Karve, a social scientist, uh, according to her, in order to put an end to the conflicts arising. Uh, out of casteism, it is necessary to create economic and cultural equality between these castes. So uh, she has emphasis more on uh, economic and cultural uh, equality. Of course, there should be uh, promoted more uh, economic and cultural equality. Therefore, that we already discussed in uh, solutions to casteism in India. Now move to the next slide. Uh, Louis Dumo, 1911 to 1998. So he's an eminent sociologist and dialogist, was a towering figure in the fields of sociology and anthropology in the world. His focus of debate has been India and the West. His exemplary studies are best on methodologies that he constructed for the study of particular societies and for inter-civilizational comparisons. And these are of universal combined. The present, chap uh, present uh, uh, chapter uh, on casteism by uh, Louis Dumo, when he's talking about uh, uh, caste system in India, and he has uh, spoken about the homo hierarchies, the caste system, and its implications. 1966. So, uh, when it comes to caste system, Louis Dumo was primarily concerned with the ideology of the caste system. He his understanding of caste lays emphasis on attributes of caste. That is why he he is put in the category of those following the attribution approach to the caste system. For him, caste is a set of relationship of economic, political, and kinship system. He was talking about it's a set of like relationship of economic, political, and kinship systems sustained by certain values, which are mostly religious in nature. Domo says that caste is not a form of stratification, but a special form of inequality. Whose essence has to be uh, understood. Uh, and whose essence has to be understood by different sociologists. So uh, he's talking about certain things which are very important. He's talking about concept of pure and pure. He was talking about theory of Varna also. So that uh, we have to understand how to, how Dumo he was talking about different uh, caste groups. So when it comes to Amon Shinwas, Amon Shinwas was uh, he was talking more about uh, Sanskritization. He was talking about the relationship between two caste groups when a uh, when a when a when a when a uh, lower caste when they try to adopt the beliefs and rituals of the higher higher caste groups to attain moksha to attain twice born status. So uh, Amman Shinwas was was talking about uh, structural functional uh, 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 dimension of caste in caste or casteism in India. 
So uh, he has focused more on structural aspect of the caste system in India, where he tried to understand the relationship between two caste groups in India. And uh, next one is a subaltern perspective. And first, we have to understand what is a subaltern perspective to understand caste system in India. The word subaltern, as given in the Oxford Dictionary, stands for the general attribute of subordination, which is expressed in terms of caste, class, age, gender, office, or any other way. It includes the characteristics of of uh, defiance and submission. Thus, in literal sense, it conveys view from below. Means we're talking about view from below. View of understanding, view or understanding from the bottom of society or, or flow of knowledge from below. For example, subaltern means we're talking about lower sections of societies. We're talking about uh, lower caste groups. So a uh, perspective from below uh, means we're talking about stool caste in India. So, so the first thinker is B.R. Ambedkar, Dr. Bhim Rao, uh, uh, Ram Ambedkar. So he has written four books on, uh, on, on uh, with reference to casteism and caste India. Number one is The Untouchables, Who Are They? Number two is Who Are uh, the Shudra? Number three is States and Minorities. Number four, Emanc Emani uh, Emancipation of the Untouchables. Number five is Annihilation of Caste. So he was talking more, he was talking about Dalit uh, liberation when it comes to subaltern perspective. Uh, the word Dalit includes those who are designated in ad administrative parallels, uh, uh, par uh, parallels as a uh, schedule caste, schedule tribes and other backward classes. So uh, you have to keep in mind the uh, stool caste was used for the first time by British in, British in Government of India Act 1935. So for the first time, the, the term stool caste was used in, in, in the Act 1935. And that you have to understand. Dalit liberation you have to understand when it comes to uh, 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 casteism or caste by Ambedkar. So with the advent of Ambedkar into the Indian political arena uh, during 1920, the issue of social reforms achieved a new dimension. He was, the, he was of the opinion that until and unless the downtrodden themselves came forward to fight their battle no else uh, no one else could elevate their grievances no one else could know better than them about their own state of affairs ambedkar impressed upon the people to understand their own affair themselves so uh, that you have to keep in your mind that uh, he was talking about annihilation of caste also so uh, so subaltern perspectives are also considered as important to understand castes of India. So if, when it comes to law and legislation, you have to begin from um, uh, caste disabilities or more like of 1850, where they were talking about the distinction between different caste groups also, then the untou untouchability of Act of 1955, uh, that is related to the untouchability practices in India, or untouch and promoting untouchability in India. And uh, then uh, go through the uh, 1951 reservation uh, was given to SC and ST uh, uh, to, to strengthen the weaker section of society. The, the aim was that. And you have to understand also the Mandal uh, protest during 1979 to 1980s. That is also very important when, you, when we have to understand other backward classes also. And uh, then come to the uh, 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 stool caste and stool tribe preventions and atrocities uh, that that act you have to understand, and 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 the various legislations when it comes to uh, stool caste and stool tribe prevention atrocities act, and uh, that act uh, and and mm, in in 2015 uh, again the act was uh, discussed uh, in the parliament mm -hmm. and uh, 2018 also. So uh, please understand there were there were different laws. <clears throat> there were different articles, Article 14, Article 15, and uh, these articles also uh, deals with uh, discrimination equality, and so these uh, are very much related to caste, related to caste system uh, in India because somewhere uh, we have to address the issue of uh, uh, discrimination. Uh, we have to understand what is what do we mean, what do we mean by uh, equal opportunities. So. <clears throat> That all you have to discuss in this in this in this lecture. So that also help you to understand what is casteism, and uh, and please go through the whole literature, and go through the notes, go through the study material, go through the books and article that I will share with you, and uh, 
सो आई विल स्टॉप हेयर थैंक यू